Leon, have you ever dreamed of being cast in a major motion picture? Yes. Better yet, write a story for a major motion picture. I think such dreamers are a dime a dozen in Hollywood. Well, let's discuss one of such dreamers then, shall we? Welcome to Netflix on English. Hello, everyone. This is the Netflix on English podcast. I'm Gary. And I'm Leo. And together we Netflix on English, or in other words, talk about the vocabulary from the latest film and series on streaming platforms. In each episode, we tell you a story of main characters from a series or a film using just a few key expressions from it. And today we continue talking about Hollywood, a glittering alternate history of the 1940s Hollywood. So, after World War II, lots of starry-eyed dreamers come to Los Angeles hoping to make it in pictures. However, not all of them want to be actors. Some would prefer to work behind the camera. You mean like Archie Coleman, an inspiring writer? Exactly. Let's listen to Archie telling his own story to an actor, Jack Costello. I moved to LA after I got out of the service. I wanted to be a writer. I still do. I wrote a script, you know, screenplay about Peg and Whistle, girl who jumped off the Hollywood sign because the town wouldn't accept her. Okay, so Archie moved to Los Angeles after he got out of the war service. He wrote a screenplay about Peg and Whistle, an actress who jumped off the Hollywood sign because the town didn't accept her. A screenplay or a script is the words to be spoken in the film and instructions for the cameras. It appears that Archie wrote many scripts but has sold only one yet. He sold his screenplay Peg to Ace Studios, a major film production company. However, Archie thinks that Ace Studios won't put him on contract because he is black. So now Archie turns tricks with men to survive. That is, he has sex with them in exchange for money. That's right. Apparently Archie was turning tricks at a gay film theatre when he first met Jack Costello. You got any money, honey? Sure do. I bet you do. And as we remember, Jack Costello himself turns tricks with women at the infamous gas station called Golden Tip Gasoline. Thanks to Jack, Archie gets a job at the gas station as well. Now he turns tricks with men for better money and in a safer environment. That's yes, it looks like job security is important for all kinds of workers. Meanwhile, Archie's script about Peg and Whistle draws the attention of a film director, Raymond Ainsley, who thinks it could be a potential hit. Thanks to Raymond's efforts, Ace Studio greenlights a picture based on Archie's script. When a studio greenlights a picture, it means that they decide to produce it. Can you imagine having your own picture greenlit by Hollywood? Well, I bet you can. Like I've said before, you've always had a wild imagination. You're mean. Anyhow. Archie was overjoyed to have his first picture greenlit. However, even though Ace Studios greenlights Peg, they want to take Archie's name off the picture because of his race. That's right. Let's remember exactly what the studio told Archie. Now we need to replace you. Peg is still your movie. It's your script. It's your voice. You're going to get all your fees. You'll be on set. But another writer's name will be appearing in the credits. I'm sorry, this is simply the way that it has to be. So, even though Archie is going to get money for his work and be on set, his name is not going to appear in the credits. That is so unfair. Credits is a list of people and organizations who help to make a film. They usually show the credits at the beginning or the end of a film. For Archie, even though he deserves credit, or in other words, praise for his work, the studio doesn't want to give it to him. That's what being a black American was like in the 1940s. They would never get credit for their work. In Archie's case, quite literally. But then Raymond Ainsley decides to go out on a limb for Archie. That is, Raymond puts himself in a risky situation to protect Archie's rights. That was very brave of him. Archie and Raymond also go out on a limb for Camille Washington, a talented, aspiring black actress. They want Camille to play the main part in Peg. 
Ace Studios finally goes out on a limb and casts Camille Washington as the lead character in Peg, now renamed Meg. The studio also decides to keep Archie's name in the credits. That decision, however, became very controversial. In other words, a lot of people criticized and didn't agree with it. That's right. The fact that the studio decided to produce a film written by a gay black man was really controversial. What made it even more controversial was the fact that the film studio cast a black actress in the lead role in the major motion picture. After all, such a casting causes criticism even in the modern day. Oh yes, just like it did with the recent adaptations of The Little Mermaid or Anne Boleyn. So Archie and Camille start getting death threats. Now their lives, along with the release of Meg, are at risk. What a twist. Will the world finally see Meg in film theatres? Well, let's not spoil the story, but try to recap the vocabulary. Okay, a screenplay or a script is the words to be spoken in the film by actors and instructions for the cameras. If someone turns tricks, that means they have sex in exchange for money. When the studio green lights a picture, it means they decide to produce it. Credits is a list of people and organizations who helped to make a film. You can also get credit for your work, or in other words, get praise for it. When someone goes out on a limb, that means that they do something they strongly believe in, even though it's risky. And if you describe a subject as controversial, that means that it causes a lot of disagreement and criticism among people. That's all. So make sure you subscribe to our podcast to hear us Netflixing on English from other series. That's all for now. So from Leo and Gary, thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Bye.